Hi guys, today in our lab session we are going to see how to connect up the character LCD to the Freedom Embed board. Now if you look at the character LCD very carefully there are 16 pins in total of which we will be using only a few of them as I discussed in the lecture. So go ahead and take this LCD and place it on the breadboard. It fits in the breadboard comfortably. Now if you look at this character LCD carefully, this is pin number 1 all the way up to pin number 16. Pin number 1 is your ground, pin number 2 is VDD, pin number 3 is your contrast, pin number 4 is your register select, pin number 5 is your read write, pin number 6 is your enable, then is your data bit 1 or data bit 0, data bit 1, 2, 3, data bit 4, 5, 6, 7, then your 2 backlight LEDs. So we'll be connecting up these pins. So as per our code and what I explained, we will be looking at pin numbers PTC9 which will be connected to your register select, PTC8 will be connected to your enable, PTA5 will be connected to your data bit 4, PTA4 will be connected to your data bit 5, PTA12 data bit 6, PTD4 data bit 7. So we'll be using these terminals which on your embed board are right here. These are the terminals starting from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These are your terminals and we will be connecting it up to your LCD. Okay, so let's go ahead and start making the connections. So first of all, let's make sure that we have the ground set up. So if you look at the diagram here, pin number 14 here is ground, so which is the fourth pin. So 1, 2, 3, 4, this is your ground pin. And we will connect up the ground pin to a open connection here, which will help us use these connections here to connect them to ground on the LCD. Okay, so that's the first connection which is done. So let's go one by one. So pin number one is ground which is here. So we will take this and connect it to ground. Right here. So this is pin number one taken care of. Pin number two is your VDD. If you remember, pin number two, I said that will be connected to USB 5 volts. The reason behind that is this character LCD needs a 5 volt supply. So if you look at your pin out, pin number 10 is P5 volt underscore USB. So let us go ahead and connect that up. This is the fifth pin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Go ahead and connect it up. So that takes care of VDD. So once we've connected VDD up, the third is the contrast pin which is again ground. So connect pin number 3 to ground. Now pin number 4 is your register select, so we take pin number 4 and we connect it to your register select which is, if you remember, PTC9 which is the first pin here. So after that my next pin is going to be 
the read write pin which is again ground since we are only writing to the LCD so hence it will be connected to ground okay as you see that connecting all these terminals to a common ground terminal is very convenient so after that we have the enable that's the next pin enable will be connected to the next pin which is PTC 8 then we have our four data pins so I'm going to just combine all these wires and directly connect my data pins and connect them up here and then we I have my last data bit since I use just three pins the last one comes here and so we've connected up the data pins so the LCD is connected up now let's quickly look at the program here you have your hash include embed dot h and the hash include text LCD dot h now this is your matrix keypad program again I just want to highlight that the I'm assuming that the matrix keypad is already connected as with your previous lab so this is the text LCD declaration as I explained in the program with connections from PTC 9 through PTD 4 and then you have the text LCD the definition rest all is okay you know how the program works so let's go ahead and compile this we will copy this and paste it onto the embed board and after it's we paste it just quickly go ahead so if we zoom in on the LCD and if I press the reset button on my embed board you see that the display is quite clear which shows keypad plus LCD and now let's try and press one of the matrix keypad buttons and see if it actually displays so you can see the number one if I press two it shows two if I press three it shows three you can try the number 8 let's try the hash or the star you can see star I have hash I have 0 so this works fine now you can try different combinations of the program of using a matrix keypad with the LCD now just wanted to remind you that the connections for the matrix keypad are same as what you did in the previous lab and this is the new edition I hope you guys had fun at this lab I shall see you in the next lab session thanks